Hey peeps, happy Thursday. I am live from the Dunkin' Donuts um, drive-thru. I just, Menza is laying underneath her bed. Should I show you this picture? Let me show you, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get it. Look at her, can you see? She is under her bed. Let me see, let me, let me flip, flip the camera instead of doing this crazy stuff. Hold on a second. So she is underneath her bed in the back seat. <laughs> she's so cute, my little doll face. It's my little doxy. I mean, she's been having like teeth issues. I started brushing them again and like her gums are bleeding. Like I just have to take better care. Small dogs don't have the best teeth as I'm finding out from my research. In any case, if you're catching a live, say hey. And if you're catching a replay, a hashtag happy Thursday. I wish you a happy Thursday right back. So I just wanted to talk to you about listening to your body because something happened yesterday and it's like, I follow Joe Dispenza and he has alleviated all of my health and wellness fears because I am not, I don't want to go to, I go every, you know, for my annual stuff, like I do all that, but like me, like going to a facility or an office because I'm not well is not going to, like, that's not, not going with, that's not happening. So yesterday like towards the evening my throat started feeling funny and i'm like what the heck is that like normally i'll get like nasal drip and like that'll irritate my throat but i didn't feel that and i'm like i started to i started to feel the anxiety of like what do i do and i have like i have so much stuff like i have so many like vitamins herbals i was just like i was like in panic mode what do i take first and so I gargled, there's a crest something that kills like any virus immediately when you gargle with it. So I did that. And then I took my um, homeopathic throat, which I showed in my stories. It's from Boyron. It's a throat calm. And then I took my herbals for my sin uh, sinus. So, so just in case I have a drip. And then what else did I do? I was listening to my, you can heal your body hypnosis um, audio. And at 9.28, I'm like, I'm exhausted. Like, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. And I'm not an early, like I, I don't go to bed early. Hey, Emery, I go to bed like around midnight every night. And it was 9.28. I remember looking at my phone and saying, what the heck? I just wasn't feeling well, you know? I just wasn't, I was tired. And so normally I'll go fight it and be like, I have to do this. I want to get my power hour at 10. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I was like, go to bed. So I had taken like a few different herbals and things. And I went to bed, woke up still feeling like, eh. So I, you know, I showed you my story, all the things I did. I took vitamin C, liposymal, uh, vitamin C is like a type of vitamin C. I took my, um, fire cider. Like I tried to do everything. And I, I mean, I feel a hundred percent better now, but it's just interesting to me. Hey, Susan, I know all the things. Like, I know how your mindset affects your body. And I still was starting to kind of get nervous and anxious about it. And so I, I'm, I wanted to do this live for people who maybe not, they're not aware of how your mind can impact your body. I, I show this on, a, I think I went live or on a story. They had um, a group of people pretend in their minds. Let me take my glasses off of this. They did a mental re rehearsal of doing bicep curls for two hours for two weeks. I'm making that up, but this is that the story is true. Like they did a certain amount of biceps in their mind. They mentally rehearsed and they increased their muscle strength by 13%. So if you don't think that your mind, your thoughts and how you react to things impact your body, heed this message. It does. <laughs> it absolutely does. So Joe Dispenza says, if your thoughts can make you sick, Hey, Myra, your thoughts can make you well. And so when I start to get anxiety, because, you know, I start to think, oh, my God, it's my throat. And what if it hits my lungs? And then if, what if something's really wrong? Or what? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, back it up, Jack. Like, it's not back it up, Mac, I should say. It's not that serious. But, like, I'm just like, I want to go return back to homeostasis and feel okay again, like, as quickly as possible. And, I, I mean, I do. But I just wanted to, to send this message because I just wanted to share this message, really, because... I know like a lot of people are starting to get sick again. People are taking tests for certain things. And I just wanted to give this as a really powerful testimony to how your thoughts 
impact your body and how easy it is to get wrapped up even when you know that your body can heal itself. It's easy. It's 555, angel number. It's a sign. It's a sign. Validation of what I'm saying. So anyway, if you have any questions about home, like homeopathic remedies, about mindset issues, if you want the information about Joe Dispenza, I've already put in my vision board. I'm going to meet him. I've already like put it in my head. And I said, you know, there's a difference between, you know, just wanting something and wishing something and then manifesting it. And so I had this dream. I'm going to share my dream from last night. It was crazy. I had a dream that I was, it seemed like Las Vegas, like it seemed ritzy and, and a lot of lights and stuff. And there was this guy, he was with my nephew or like, it seemed like my nephew and he like hugged me and apparently I was dating him. Who knew? I didn't know. I'm like, who is he? And I could, when I woke up, you ever have a dream that you felt was reality? Like you woke up and you're like, it felt so real that felt so real and so when you and so now i'm like I'm, i know there's certain things i'm going to manifest because i can feel it i could taste it i could smell it it's it's like you're actually living in your dream state you're in reality like right now like we're moving but you're still you could still feel like i have i'm gonna end on this because yeah i mean dreams are powerful i, I feel like they're messages i have a dream that to go to sicily stay in a bed and breakfast with menza and to take cooking classes. I can literally, if I close my eyes, I can do it even if my eyes are open. I can see the bed and breakfast on the water. I could feel the air. I could smell, when I breathe in, I could smell like fresh cooked meals. I could see the lady who hosts the bed and breakfast. Like that's manifesting. That's using your mindset for good. Not what I was doing last night. Last night I'm like, what if I'm sick? Oh my, what do I do? Oh my, like what is going on? So I just wanted to give you that reminder because I'm like, if I, if that happens to me and I know there's a lot of people who don't know and must be freaking out, just don't freak out is the first thing. And second, check out Joe Dispenza. And if you want tips for different holistic remedies, just drop it below or message me and I'm happy to help. I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Woo -woo, it's Friday Eve. <laughs> Props to the weekend. And let me know if you got some value. If you got value, drop some bells and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.